Welcome viewers again to fabulous Las Vegas. I am in one of the worst rated hotels on TripAdvisor, maybe even the worst out of the big massive hotels in the whole of Las Vegas. But I'm going to tell you one thing, it's the funnest, best atmosphere hotel I've walked into so far. Um, I've not stayed in the rooms, I might still stay here tonight, we'll wait and see. But I can tell you the hotel is very affordable and it's got a really good vibe and good atmosphere. Let me show you around Circus Circus and I'll give you some information on the hotel. You might even see some amazing shows. Who knows? Let's go. Okay, so we're going to take a wee walk around here. We'll eventually end up on the casino floor. Um, I've already been upstairs, seen a couple of uh, shows, but it was jam-packed, absolutely full of families. Um, around there's a car rental and stuff like that, just get the lobby store. We're going to pass the steakhouse and some other places as well here. And it's really obviously a resort, suitable for families mostly, but it seems like fantastic value, what I've seen. I mean, the show I'd just seen there upstairs it was absolutely free. It didn't cost anything just to watch it. It was absolutely brilliant entertainment. It was like watching the show in Vegas. Superb. Um, we've got a wee food court here, but I'm going to show you some other places as well. Krispy Kreme here. I'm not a fan of Krispy Kreme, but it seems popular with everybody. This wee food hall here's just got the usual suspects, hasn't it? Popeyes, Einstein Brothers, Pickups, Burger King. Um, Let's continue, I'll give you some information on Circus Circus. Opened in 1968 viewers, yes, can you believe that? It's a pretty old to tell, eh? I think it's got about 123,000 square feet. Now, in 1972, when it first opened, it didn't have hotel rooms, it just had the circus and stuff like that. So it really struggled to attract high rollers, gamblers and stuff like that, because there was no hotel. There's the buffet there, the buffet's $24.99. Uh, plus tax, it's probably about $27, $28. Uh, it doesn't look as if there's many people in the buffet. At one point, the buffet and Circus Circus, wait to, hear, wait to hear this, at one point the buffet here attracted 13,000 people per day coming to the buffet. Can you believe that? I, I think there's maybe 13 people in it now. It's pretty quiet in the buffet. But to be fair, they've got a lot of different food options now, so maybe that's why. We'll take a wee wonder over there in a wee second. I've not been right over there. Um, I'll show you that. I'll show you the rest of the accommodation as well, or the property I should say. So that's the buffet. I think probably your soft drinks are included in the buffet as well. So it didn't open with the hotel rooms, interestingly enough. They quickly realised that was a mistake. And then in 1972, they added 409 rooms. There's a lot more rooms now, can you guess how many rooms there are? i tell you something, prices in here are unbelievable compared to everywhere else. Las Vegas hats, 4 99 for a cap. Um, very, very affordable. In the buffet as well, if you want a beer, it's $5, which is so much cheaper than anywhere else. This place is doing custom personalization stuff as well. So they're definitely trying to attract the budget-conscious travel here. Obviously, because of what they do with the, the circus performance, it's the oldest indoor circus performance in the world, as you can expect in the Guinness Book of Records. But what they're doing here is obviously going to attract mainly families here, but if you're looking for a really cheap hotel just off the strip, I think you'd maybe consider this. It depends what the rooms are like, to be fair. Just get a wee bar here with a video poker. This is called the West Bar. That place up there is open 24 hours. A wee food place here. Let's continue down here. We'll see where we end up, viewers. So yeah, it might be an option. I mean, I wasn't going to consider staying here because I thought it was too far away from the strip. But I've realised it's not. It's just next across from uh, Fontainebleau, just next to the Resorts World, and not that far up from the Wynn and Encore. I mean, it is at the kind of far end of the kind of North Strip. Well, not as far up as the Strat, obviously, but um, it's not as bad a location as I thought it would be. And to be fair, walking about the hotel, 
it's a lot nicer this bit than I expected. I have watched some previous videos on YouTube of people doing room reviews and it seems like the rooms are problematic, they're very dated and the corridors are very dated. But the actual main casino bit, I think, is pretty decent to be fair. Right, I'm going to show you a place that has been recommended by a friend of the channel, the MacMaster. Now, Lee says this is the best steak he's had in the world. Check out his review at Circus Circus. He reviews a steak um, and he says the staff are really nice. He says it's absolutely fantastic. There's a wee shop there as well. Um, it's won quite a few awards in here. He did recommend going here, but Lee, I'm not at your level of YouTube yet. He's got about 180,000 subscribers and it's about $80 for a steak in there. Lee, maybe next time. I might do the buffet. Do we, a wee video of the buffet? I don't know. It looks amazing. It looks like old school in there. Um, you need to watch his video, honestly. It's really interesting. Um, he says the staff are really nice and the steak was absolutely fantastic. See if we can show you a wee bit of the menu here. So New York Strip, $86. Oh, it's tempting me, mind you, but it is, is at the higher end of the budget, that one. So it's absolutely beautiful inside. Um, I don't even know if I get in, to be fair, the night before the book. It gets booked out quite a lot, apparently. So that is the steakhouse. And then after the steak, you can have a tattoo just across the road. Think the everything, circus, circus, think of everything. Right, let's continue. Taco place on the right hand side, so there is a lot of uh, food options here. I don't know if I'm going to miss some parts of this hotel, there's quite a possibility I might miss some of it, to be fair. So, apologies. The owner is Phil Ruffin, who owns the Treasure Island, according to Wikipedia. So don't blame me if it's wrong, blame Wikipedia. <laughs> Uh, if you're a James Bond fan, which I am, a big James Bond fan, a wee pizza place there, um, you might have noticed 1971 Diamonds Are Forever, there was a section filmed in Circus Circus. Did you know that? You probably didn't, because I only just found out looking up myself there. So let's continue. We've got all sorts of music in the background that I need to speak over it. It's been quite tricky filming these videos in Las Vegas. Everywhere I go, there's just loads and loads of music. Uh, it's a great atmosphere everywhere. It was Las Vegas. I think if Las Vegas moved to the UK and uh, they made it more affordable, I would move there. It would be Las Vegas UK for me. <laughs> Definitely. No under 21s allowed in the gaming area. That would be quite tricky to enforce, mind you, with the amount of kids and families walking about here. Now, did you know, at one point, there used to be baby elephants kicking about here and you could get a ride on. When it first opened, I know, can you believe that? Shocking, isn't it? Circus is just, used to have everything in it. We can have a sports bar here as well. Now, this is one thing I've noticed about Circus Circus. Very, very affordable compared to some of the other places I've been in. Bucket specials, five for twenty-five dollars. It might not go to tax, so it'll be two or three dollars. Draft specials, twenty-two fifty as well. Better value with the draft, isn't it? But really, really affordable. Cocktails, I think $11 as well, which again for Las Vegas is not bad whatsoever. There's a wee kids arcade down here, so as I said, that is really suited for families, this hotel. I'll show you a wee bit of it. There's more upstairs, but that's just a wee small section of it. It's pretty big actually. Loads of these wee grab machines that nobody wins, so that's why they get so many of them. Yeah, if you're here as a family, uh, there would be no better family hotel in Las Vegas than this, that's for sure. What's going on there? Maybe they used to have a bar there. They've still got sports up on the TV and stuff like that. Think of everything, don't they? Absolutely think of everything here. Right, let's head out of here. Um, interestingly enough, if you've been watching my previous videos, I've had some issues with the LED lights because I've not fixed my settings on my Samsung Galaxy S21 phone. But I've not had any issues in the US. The settings apparently are different, so I seem to be I seem to be doing fine walking about here. When it first opened Circus Circus, the grand opening in Las Vegas, obviously it was very exciting. 26,000 people came in the first eight hours. So that was a good sign, but then after that it really, really struggled because they didn't have the hotel. More specials here as well. 
Down here, there's another wee bar. Sometimes you get confused, like, is that the same bar as that? They all look the same, don't they? So, more slot machines through here as well. It's quite a big casino, actually. Stretches all the way around. Yeah, so 3,767 rooms apparently it's got. So, there you go. Don't know if there's anything else to show you viewers. Um, I'm going to go upstairs and we'll, we'll edit this, so I don't know what, what order it'll be in. If I repeat myself at any point, apologies, because I can't remember what I've told you, because um, I've got no memory. Um, if there's any more to see upstairs, I will film it for you, don't you worry. They might be the worst rated to tell, the rooms might be shocking, um, everything they've seen they look really bad but I, I, I can just tell you my own experience walking about it and seeing that performance it's a pretty fun hotel with quite a good atmosphere and they're not ripping people off it's a pretty good price pretty affordable as well now talking about that I've got another video showing you some amazing deals the walkway to the slots of fun um, if I remember I'll leave a link to that in the comments below Okay, show's just finished. There's a great atmosphere. It was absolutely jam-packed. That stand was absolutely full. Uh, so we're on the second floor of Circus Circus. This would be an absolute dream, I think, if you're a, if you're a child. Um, they've got everything here. It's like a step back in time, all the games they've got. Um, even as an adult, I'm appreciating it, to be honest with you. Now, obviously, I've not stayed in the hotel rooms. They don't look the best, do they? Check out Walk With Me Tim. He's done a wee review in the Circus Circus hotel rooms. I might stay here next couple of nights, it seems like a fun atmosphere I don't know, and we've got some very very affordable bars nearby as well um, there's a human cannibal game there as well and uh, I don't know what entertainment I've got, I'll need, to, I'll need to check that out see what shows I've got as well but it's a step back in time, all the games maybe as a youngster you've played all the basketball games and stuff like that as well um, definitely the electricity bill in here will be quite high definitely they'll need to cap it here because um, it's lit up pretty well camel chase there as well so it's basically like the horse racing games except with camels see what they've done there uh, fishing around game these basketball games where it's nearly impossible to get the ball in the basket uh, all part of the fun viewers all part of the fun so yeah I mean it's just a really fun place virtual reality rides here as well we kids are loving this it's called Lane Master I think uh, 10 pin bowling kind of virtual 10 pin bowling look at this big connect 4 hoops cool big massive arcade section it goes all the way back they've got air hockey Get 10 pin bowling, um, all sorts going on here. I think it's fantastic, the shows are free to watch in here. If you're here, if you're here in a family, as a family in Las Vegas, you definitely have to visit Circus Circus, without a doubt. Now, I'll give you some information here. You used to charge a pound to get into Circus Circus. Can you believe that? And they had a big dispute with the authorities over tax bills, and eventually they scrapped that pound. So it's free to get in now. Now, obviously, they hope you spend a wee bit in the casino or the fantastic steakhouse or something else bust any balloon and you win a prize must be pretty difficult so you collect prizes in there that's a prize shop Iceland and treats pretty cool takes you back down the stairs so the performing area is here um, the trapeze artists are absolutely amazing over there, they're absolutely phenomenal. So obviously they're going to have a safety net because they're not going to risk your life for a show in Circus Circus, are you? But still absolutely amazing. Fit as a fiddle, as we would say. Fit as a fiddle. Basketball, I'm not going to embarrass myself even trying that, viewers. Got a wee water race coming up here as well. It definitely is an absolute dream if you're here. As a wee child, or maybe... If it's an adult, you just want to have some fun. I'll check out downstairs in a wee minute and eh. Uh, oh, check this. Check out downstairs in a wee minute, see what else I've got.
we gift shop in there as well. Very cheap to stay in this hotel. Very affordable rooms. I could have stayed here, what, £25 some nights. I'm still considering it, just for nostalgia reasons, maybe to stay here. Um, I don't think I will, because it's a wee bit further up the strip. But you never know, there's a casino down there. We head down there. I don't think there's another uh, level. I think it's the second level and that's it. It's a very big hotel, but... Over 3,700 rooms, I think, in this hotel. Space Invaders over there, cool. Circus Downs. Star Darts, right, I'm going to go downstairs and uh, we'll check out the rest of the casino in the hotel.